What about the structure of perifascia? Now, what do I mean by perifascia? Perifascia is a type of fascia in our body that's um, kind of loose. In fact, most anatomists, other than me, uh, would call perifascia loose areolar connective tissue. So that gives you some part of the story of perifascia. They say it's loose. Well, it is a little loose when you're pulling it apart. Um, and we end up with fibers that are kind of loosely organized, right? Higgledy piggledy, like so, when you're stretching it apart. I used to call it the fuzz. Got famous on YouTube for the fuzz speech, right? But perifascia uh, is basically, uh, I should say fuzz, is basically perifascia being pulled out, pulled out of its organized um, layer and stretched so that it looks fuzzy. But the reason it looks fuzzy is because when it's laid back down as a membrane, right, it has a collagen fiber organization that's higgledy-piggledy, uh, chaotic, etc. But that's not all, because perifascia is also highly, uh, I call it super hydrated, right? It's, it's highly fluid, and yet it's a structured membrane. So it's kind of like a particle wave, which is it? Is it, is, it a, is it a sheet of fascia? Is it a puddle? Sometimes it's hard to tell, okay? So that wet quality, right? That wet quality and that chaotic fiber organization is what allows perifascia to shear under stress, right? So that within the structure of the perifascia's depth, and perifascia is very thin. This is a very magnified view, right? Within the structure of this depth, I could pass my knife anywhere, right? And sort of carve away some of this membrane system that allows for shearing and differential movement in different directions. Now, perifascia, wherever we find differential movement in the musculoskeletal system is present, but it's also present around every tendon. It's present around every vein, every artery, every nerve, allowing for their differential movement relative to the musculoskeletal system. Does your arteries and nerves get dragged with the muscle? No, there's differential movement between the tissues, between the muscle tissues themselves, between the muscle tissues and their nerve and uh, motor partners between the muscle tissue and their vasculature, their vascular supply. Perifascia permits all of this, both because it's chaotic in its fiber organization and because it's wet. So I like to call perifascia, the perifascial system, say, in your body, a reservoir. I think that's a good word for it because it's literally a fluid reservoir in our body. And when we're properly hydrated, our perifascia is properly hydrated. When we're dehydrated, we'll steal water from our perifascia, from our joints to enable our digestive processes to happen. It's like a whole other story. But the structure of perifascia, structure, I spelt it right. The structure of perifascia per permits this um, because of its fluid and fibrous nature. I want to say another thing about perifascia. I can cut perifascia into a sheet at the surfaces of the body, in the gross form of the human body. But the structure continues on in an infinite ingress as it surrounds smaller and smaller structures in our body. Really, those structures are embedded in the perifascia, I think is a good way to say it. And so when we get down to you know, if we're wrapping around your thigh, here's your, here's your thigh bone and your thigh, and we have uh, all of the muscular compartments here, uh, and the musculature is sort of ensheathed in perifascia, like the deep fascia. Well, what if we take it closer in? What if we look at one muscle cell cut this way, cut on end? Here's another muscle cell, and here's another muscle cell. So even in between those, here's our green perifascia, even in between those, we have this loose, loose membranous, super hydrated substance. But when it's between one cell and another, I can't call it fascia anymore because I can't cut it into a sheet. I can't even see it. 
and yet it's there. It's there in your liver. It's there in your muscle tissues. It's there all throughout your body. And at that level, we stop calling it perifascia. And we borrow Neil Teases, beautiful word uh, that he used to describe his own discoveries in his microscopic work with liver cells. And he called it interstitium. So interstitium is basically interstitium. Thanks, Neil. Interstitium is perifascia at the cellular scale. But what we have in our human form is a continuity from the gross structures to the most teeny structures of a loose, membranous, superhydrated, translucent movement system. If you'd like to learn more, visit me at gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.